Ladies and gentlemen, NBA 2K21. We got the news. We got next console information, next gen information. We got stuff about things the 2K is doing that's nefarious that we've always known that they've done. But it's even worse this year. And last but not least, we got something to help y'all get over the hump. So make sure you drop a like on this video because we're bringing the 2K heat every day of the week. I got a jump shot for you guys coming this uh, this evening. I've got stuff that's going to make the game for you guys much easier. We just got everything. Like the video. Let's try to get this video over 1,000 likes in the first 24 hours or something like that so that people can find the channel because if they don't get likes, the videos don't get pushed. Make sure you like the video. It don't cost you nothing. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You won't be sorry that you did. I've already given you the best, uh, the best center bill. Period. I've already given you the best. Uh, we're giving you the best jump shot today. We're giving you the best bass message and all this stuff. Like the video, subscribe, turn on post notice, and let's get right into it. Lido! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me accept. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that habit. Now, as far as helping you guys out, man, look, man. I don't normally do nothing like this at all. But I know that there are a lot of people out there struggling hella bad. I said hella bad. A lot of people out there struggling right now, man. And because of that, I want to drop this uh, this thing on you guys, man, where there's a hot spot glitch out, apparently. And uh, it's brought to you by no, none other than NBA 2K Intel. Like, he's got it up there. I don't know if it works. He's saying there's a hot spot glitch tutorial. And if you are, uh, you know, you check it out, then you could be better at shooting. Now, let me tell you something about hot spots. If you don't understand how important like that something could be, like uh, what was that game? NBA 2K 18. 18 hot spots was so important. You almost couldn't even shoot the basketball if you didn't have your hot spots. So they're very important. I don't know if you want to do the glitch because I feel like they're easy enough to get in my career. In seven, in 18, the glitch was just you just had to simulate through the season and you got them. But for right now, the hot spots carry over from my career to the park and everywhere else. So if you can get your hot spots in my career, I feel like it's just easier to just go in there, get your hot spots in my career, do your thing, and then go from there. But hey, if you feel like you need that hot spot glitch, NBA 2K Intel, they have it right here. I'm not gonna go into it in depth. I'm not gonna tell you what it entails. All I know is it's similar to what it's been every other year. And so with that being the case, it probably works. But do any of this at your own discretion because it will get you banned if they catch you doing any type of glitch or anything like that. I'm not endorsing it. I'm just letting y'all know that it's out there. I don't even know if it's something that I care if 2K fixes, man, because if 2K fixes it, then, you know, we might have a lot of a lot less people playing the game because people are already having a hard enough time hitting as it is. But that's a whole nother story. We're not even going to talk about that. What we are going to talk about is how 2K hides a lot of stats behind the 85 overall. It's almost like they're trying to force you to put money into the game. I, I put my, you know, I bought the $100 Kobe edition. And so because I bought that, I was I, I got the initial 100 uh, 100k VC. I put that on my play. I think they got him to like an 80 or 81. I've been grinding my guy, grinding my guy. Get into the park, get into the wreck. Can't hit shots. Feel slow. All that stuff. I get this guy to a to a 85. I you know work him up, get into an 85, 86, and now it's like he's fast, he's strong, he can do everything. I don't understand why two. Well, I do understand why 2K hides all those stats behind that 85 because they really want you to put some extra VC into the game. Even though you get the hundred, the you know the hundred VC or what have you right off the bat, they want you to put another 50 bucks into the game and get all your attributes. I think I'll probably be a 92 or 93 something like that if I had uh, paid, but I'm not gonna do it, man, because I'm not happy. I'm happy with the game, but I'm not happy where the game is and if you see me talking on twitter it's just because they advertised a skill gap but there's no skill gap in this game when i can time my shot perfectly as you guys saw on twitter when i can time it perfectly or aim it perfectly and the game decides that it just does not want to give me a green and and somebody else can mistime it like harlem like you know what i'm saying they can mistime and then it's gonna give them one that's just not a skill gap it's a build gap 
But hey, it is what it is. So you know, like I said, if you haven't if you haven't gotten your hot spots and you haven't gotten your player to 85, you haven't gotten all your badges, don't fret just yet. Keep playing the game, keep pushing through. It's gonna get better. And like I said, shoot, if you can't beat a play shot, you might just want to pick one up because you're. It's gonna be hard to win games without one. All right, and uh, up next, man, we got the Xbox, the Xbox Series S, and the X are out. Well, not that not out, but you'll be able to pre-order them coming September 22nd, and they're gonna come out November the 10th, both of them. And the funny thing is, Microsoft even has this thing where they got a payment plan where if you buy, uh, if you buy, I don't, yeah, okay, that, that actually went in. If you buy the the uh, the Game Pass and all of that good stuff, you can pay $25 a month for the Series S and $35 a month for the Series X. If you do that, then you're able to buy the game on a payment plan or an installment plan, meaning that you'll be getting Game Pass, your online pass, and all of that. So for $35 a month, you can potentially be getting an Xbox Series X, and you can get you're gonna get any game that comes out that's on Game Pass, and and like the Microsoft exclusives, they're gonna come out day and date, so right off the bat. But also, you're gonna be paying off your Xbox, and that's your Xbox Live, and you got EA pay, your, uh, EA is wrapped up into that. You know, Microsoft is really, really, really trying to to make sure that they push people toward it, especially with that price point. Um, and then on the other side, Sony said they're coming out November the 20th, so a full 10 days before the the uh playstation 5 comes out the xbox will come out i because i'm a content creator i don't have a choice i have to get an xbox whichever one it doesn't matter to me because um the difference between the series x and the series s is the main difference is the series x says it's gonna be like 4k uh 4k 60 4k 120 something like that the series s it doesn't have a disc tray but it says it will be able to do 1440p um, and 60 frames per second. So, I mean, that's gonna be good enough for most people just because most people don't even have anything but a TV that can do more than 1080. Some people might have a 4K TV, but eh, who knows how that's gonna look, man. Like I said, most people don't have 4K TV or you may have a 4K TV in your house, but you certainly don't have one with the low enough millisecond response for you to be like, okay, that's what I'm gonna go with. But if you wanna play in 4K, you'll be able to play in 4K but it's not gonna be 4K native. It's probably gonna be 4K upscaled and all of that stuff. That's why I feel like the Series S is gonna be such a good buy. I'm gonna buy one for me, buy one for my wife. It's gonna be both of us playing some 2K at the same time. Y'all gonna love those videos, man. It's gonna be me, Bridget, uh, LJ, all of us gonna be playing, man. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. But like I said, for me, I'm going to get both of them, but because the Xbox Series, uh, because the Series S comes out first, I'll be getting that one first, and then a few days later, I'll be getting the uh, I'll be getting the PlayStation. Or well, I might be getting the PlayStation a little, uh, you know, a little bit down the line. I just don't know because I got to get whichever one comes out first, and then maybe I get the other one in the holiday season. But I'm probably as as if I can, I'll probably just be grabbing, you know, one. I'll be standing in in line out there, and uh, you know, just get my Xbox. And like I said, we already know that Xbox is really just trying to push people toward it and and get some of the market share because they said no matter what Sony said they were going to say this we're going to put it out a hundred dollars lower than sony regardless of what happens and we're going to release it before them like i said a lot of people don't even go for the next gen so I, i'll be putting out you know still be putting out content so if you want content on both consoles day one make sure you subscribe to the channel and how let your boy like the video if you haven't gotten if you got this far and make sure you put a Jim stars down in the comment section man because hey this is what we do man let me show let me love see the love and support and i'll go through and i'm gonna heart everybody but you guys let me know what you think man does this game have a skill gap if it's random how you know who hit shots and who's not and if it's not based on skill and if only one subset of people because let me tell you what let me tell you why why i have a big problem with this what were the worst 2ks 2k 17 18 and 19. i think everybody can agree on that what did they have in common 2k17 sharpshooters 2k18 sharpshooters 2k19 sharpshooters everybody made the same bill and was forced into the same type of gameplay what were the two best 2ks that, that everybody say 15 16 and and uh 20 right why because of diversity because even though everybody was demigodding it up in six in 15 
they had different types of demigods and the smart players they made short demigods and stuff like that right but in 17 i mean in in uh in 15 in 16 you could play anything you wanted to inside outside balance and there was a lot of diversity amongst bills even though they were you know very similar bills and at the same time when you go over to 20 there was a lot of diversity amongst the bills even though the comp players they ended up playing the same thing you know play locks play glasses play stuff like that the fact that you could make different things and everybody was just having fun that's what it's all about you can't make different things and everybody have fun in this game that's what the problem is it's, it's like there's the, the skill gap there's no skill gap because it's random and people keep saying well do you want to be able to shoot threes and with a low rating but you're playing defense and dunking on people with they with just as low a rating so like do you, you understand what i'm saying it just makes it so there's no diversity amongst the bills no diversity amongst the game it's going to make the game play very stale because we're going to everybody's going to be playing the same way and it's going to get boring really quickly that's my major issue with it i don't care that people are hitting shots i just care that there's only one subset of people able to hit them and they're not timing it as well as i am and i'm timing it better and i'm still missing and that's going to inevitably push people toward the same style of gameplay I know y'all don't want to fight around screens all year. And if you do, that's cool, man. Uh, I just don't believe it. I think you cap it. And I think that if you're a play shot, you just, you just, you know, anything that anybody says about it, you just want to discredit it. Because you want to believe that everybody's a bum except you. But you didn't just learn. You didn't just add 40% to your sh three-point shooting overnight. And I didn't lose 30% of my ability overnight i'm shooting like 34 35 percent we getting close to 40 is getting up there because i keep trying to do jump shots and play random play with randoms and stuff with y'all man so i got some stuff coming for y'all but it's well worth it I'm, I'm not worried about my win percentage this year i had high 90 win percentage last year it didn't help me on youtube so i'm just gonna be a content creator this year and just get clips and i'm playing for clips i'm playing to get content for you guys that's all i'm playing for if i lose i lose so i'm gonna be streaming today pull up play with your boy and let's get it popping. I played with some subs last night. Got some good stuff going. So that's how it's all. Y'all, y'all know what y'all. Y'all know what it is, man. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. Like it ain't complaining. It's just we just don't want the game to get stale overnight. But anyway, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, man. Y'all take it easy. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak. Commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion So in that sense, I never value your two cents Hey, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn Cause I ain't buying I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga I can give a heart transplant to a giant I ain't lying, God speak We good